MS, it's Lauren with your school news. Today is day four, Tuesday, October 15th, and these are your student announcements. Nominations for the October Green Hornet Award are due by the end of the day today. The link is under quick links on the school website. Math Counts has been canceled for today. Please go home on your regular bus. The Green Thumb Club meets after school today in the courtyard. Crochet Club meets after school today in room 418. Builders Club for this week has been moved to Thursday. Still interested in joining Builders Club? See Mrs. Tucker in room 204. The Multicultural Club meets after school on the third Thursday of each month. To register, you can scan the QR code found on posters or email Senora Mascara. If you sign up with Mrs. Palmer for pumpkin painting on Thursday, please don't forget to bring in your own pumpkin to paint. You can bring your pumpkin to room 415 Tuesday through Thursday morning to drop it off. There are still a few spots left for this pumpkin event if you are interested, but you must see Mrs. Palmer to sign up. Library coloring contest entries are due by October 29th. 7th and 8th grade girls basketball open gyms are October 22nd and 24th after school. You must bring a signed permission slip. 7th and 8th grade girls wrestling preseason practices are Mondays at 6 and Tuesdays right after school in the high school wrestling room. 7th and 8th grade boys interested in wrestling should email Coach Best. Tomorrow's lunch is grilled cheese panini. Now over to your world news. Hey, Oma Mess, it's Kathy and Sophie with the world news for today. Did you see the Aurora Borealis last Thursday night? The Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, is caused when electrically charged particles are coming into the atmosphere at a very high speed. They collide with the particles of air that are high above the ground. This is a rare sighting for our area, as you may see this all the time if you lived higher up north. The Aurora Borealis is much easier to see through the camera on your phone than with your eyes alone. The Aurora Borealis is happening all the time. As photographer Chad Blakely, the owner of the Northern Lights Tour Company Lights Over Lapland, says, quote, The Northern Lights are happening 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. You just need to be in the right place at the right time, and they are not easy to spot depending on where you live. So, LMMS, did you see this rare sighting? I know I did. That's all for us. Now on over to your weather update. Hey, LMMS. It's Ariana here with your weather update for today. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 56 and a low of 38. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 54 and a low of 35. Hey, LMMS, it's definitely getting colder out. Hurricane Milton hit central Florida on October 9th, bringing destructive tornadoes, wind damage, flooding, and storm surge. The storm's impact was especially severe since Florida was still recovering from Hurricane Helene, which had hit just two weeks prior. Now on to our joke for today. What did Earth say to Mars? You need to get a life. That's all for me. Now into your sports news. What's up, LMMS? This is Alexis with your sports news. Do you like hockey? If so, I'm hoping you've heard about our local AHL team, the Phantoms. The team that had just had their first game of the season a few days ago was in fact originally known as the Philadelphia Phantoms when they were founded in 1996, before being relocated, moving to the PPL Center in Allentown and becoming the Lehigh Valley Phantoms we know and love today. The Phantoms will have 30 players to begin the season, including 19 forwards, 8 defensemen, and 3 goaltenders. This roster includes a combination of returning players and newcomers. Some of the notable returning players are Captain Garrett Wilson, as well as leading scorers such as Ronnie Adderd, among others. Some of the newcomers have incredible skill too, with Anthony Richard, who boasts an amazing 55 goals over the last two seasons, alongside some international players like Rodrigo Abels and Oscar Eklund. The team is coached by Ian Laperriere, entering his fourth season. Some of mess. Will you see a Phantoms game this season? Now, on to your entertainment. Hey, Oma 
mess, it's Maggie with your entertainment news. Do you know the Broadway show Our Town by Thornton Wilder? Well, Our Town officially reopened October 10th after the previews of the show that started back on September 17th. The director, Kenny Leon, says that the show is set to continue through January 19th, 2025. This show is about how people might take life for granted and how they should appreciate every moment they get in life. Some of the leads in the show include Zoe Deutsch, as Emily Webb, Katie Holmes as Miss Webb, Eugene Jones as Dr. Gibbs, Ephraim Skies as George Gibbs, Richard Thomas as Mr. Webb, Michelle Wilson as Miss Gibbs, Julie Halston as Miss Soames, and Donald Weber Jr. as Simon Stimson. So I'm a mess. Do you want to see this Broadway show? Now on over to your segment. I hope they play Fiend. I hope they play Fiend. Can I help you find something? Can I help you find something? Butt seat now. Butt seat now. It's okay not to know. It's not okay not try. It's okay not to know. It's not okay to not try. Hi, what's wrong? Hi, what's wrong? That's it for Best TV. Have a good day, Alan Lewis.